it is hard to separate the word leadership from the word challenge or opportunity. It's hard to do that because the nature of life, you are moving from challenges to opportunities and often they come together. It's very rare that you have a time where, you know, everything is on cruise control, it's absolutely perfect and you're just, you know, smoothly gliding. That might happen, but it's very rare because we live in a changing environment. Nothing is constant. In a con we are continuously in a state of flux. So things change. So the way things change, they either offer challenges or opportunities, or as it's most of the time the case, they come together. So when you exercise leadership, you have to remember that that's the context where you operate. I can't think of a, you know, a leadership role without having to deal almost daily with challenges. Either the challenges of yesterday, you know, that that were passed on to today, so that you keep, you know, working to solve problems, or the new challenges that emerge today, or both of them. And if you're lucky, with that comes also maybe opportunities. So when you exercise leadership, keep this in mind. This is the context. There's no break. This is not going to be, you know, a time where you sit, um, you know, in a sunny spot, you know, stretch your legs, have a cigar, and relax. maybe you can do that from time to time just to take a break. But the context, there's always something to do. And of course, the bigger the organization, the bigger the entity, the more the challenges and the, because the level of complexity changes so the kind of you know mountains that you have to climb are you know completely different scale so what do you do in this situation number one you accept it that's the nature of your role that's exactly why leadership exists so that you know you help the system this group of people, family, organization, department, country, navigate, you know, as realities change. So what do you do? What are the key elements for this? There are many, and we can talk you know, about this for hours. Perhaps the, maybe the most important one is to start by asking yourself, what's the nature of my reality? What kind of reality is, is surrounding me? And you have to be brutally honest in asking this question and with a complete open-mindedness. And you have to remove yourself out of the picture because you have blind spots when you exercise leadership because you're a human being and you have your own wishful thinking and you have your own demons and insecurities and uh, your own preferences and your own you know, personality and uh, the way you world views, the way you look at things. So you can't allow this to filter you and people around you from dealing with reality as it is. And how do you do that? You continuously make sure that the way you interpret your reality is accurate by observing, by checking, by asking. Now once you have determined the nature of reality, within that of course there is the nature of the challenge. So you have to determine the nature of the challenges. And once you've determined the nature of the challenges, you compare these challenges with what? With your purpose, with what you're there to do. Because you have to ask yourself, to what extent these changes in reality, or you know, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're calling challenges, are really challenges to your journey, to your original journey, to the reason of your existence, to your you know, most existential you know, purpose of your being. When you make that kind of analysis, then you can sort out your priorities. Okay, I have these 10 or 15 challenges, internally or externally, or both, and now I have to sort them out, compare them as per their impact on the purpose of my existence as an entity or 
you know, organization or country or family or individual and my priorities. So when you do this process, you do this mapping between your purpose and priorities, right? And the challenges, then you are in a better place to decide, okay, which challenge I should handle first. With that kind of clarity, and while open, keeping your mind you know, open, because things are always moving and changing, then you can use the resources that you have to start you know, solving one problem after the other. And that's the journey of leadership. 